Thank you so much. So the last panel, which you will be on, talks about quantitative politics and the ever-changing, elusive political climate that we're witnessing today. How does that fall in line, these changes, with the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030? Well, I think it's going to make it uh, a lot of tough choices for Western governments, that the political pressures are pushing them to make more investment in their home countries, and obviously growth outside of the developed world requires investment outside of the developed world. The green movement also places pressure on reducing carbon fuels, but yet the use of cheap, inexpensive carbon fuels is a primary driver of growth outside of the developed world. So all of the political developments we're seeing in the West are going to be in tension with the SDGs, and they will be more so the closer we get to the deadline. With populist governments on the rise, is multilateralism still the answer to a lot of our problems regarding SDGs? Well, I think the question that nationalists are asking is, where's the democracy? That a multilateral system that has no democratic responsiveness is increasingly going to be seen as illegitimate, and countries will increasingly opt out or limit their participation in them. So the question that multilateralists have to answer is, where's the accountability? Where do the people fit into this? And one final question, do you think we are moving towards less regulations, smaller government, and is that the answer to reaching these goals? Because many people think, you know, without these, we're not going to reach those lofty goals. We're actually in an age where more uh, political interference in markets rather than less is what is on the uh, order in most of the West, and the question is the degree. Uh, I think that if it's a limited degree, then it's still going to maintain a lot of uh, investment overseas, but we live in democratic nation states, and democratic nation states always require that the citizens get served first, and that's something that's been increasingly at issue, and the more that doesn't happen, the less likely we are going to be to see uh, a freer global economy and more that we will retreat into our own autarkic nation states. Thank you so much for that.